This is part three of a video series of how to make a mold from a styrofoam plug. In this case, I'm making my um, cowl for a uh, radial engine, and this is my plug. I've uh, shaped and molded the foam and coated it uh, with uh, fiberglass and resin, and I got to this shape. Now, it's not perfect, but I'm not making a hundred... Uh, of these I'm only making two so I'm not going to spend that much more time trying to get this pristine it'd be more work trying to make the plug perfect than it is to just to sand out those imperfections on the final product now I cut out the uh, shape of the plug half of the plug onto this plywood and built up a raised box so it'd sit like you see and uh, I uh, filled in the cracks with this uh, plumber's putty. Now, at this point, you know, you have to put a releasing agent. So your um, gel coat, which I'm using the tooling uh, gel coat, uh, doesn't stick to the plug. Okay. So you got two methods. You're going to use one or the other. You got this TR hot temperature uh, wax. Uh, which I could coat it and buff it on there, give it about seven, eight coats of wax and uh, go that route. Or I could use this uh, PVA, this poly polyvinyl. And basically what this is, is a plastic, uh, liquid plastic. Um, I'm gonna use my uh, Harbor Freight uh, little cheapo sprayer gun there. Uh, and I'm gonna put this PVA and mist it on there and then put probably two more coats and what that's going to do is effectively seal this plug so the um uh the gel coat doesn't stick to it okay or stick as much we want it to obviously come out of the uh the plug the mold to come off of the plug so um that's the uh, stage three we're at and i'm gonna Put the PVA on, and then I'm going to put the gel coat on, and then I'm going to put layers of fiberglass, and that'll be part four. Thanks for watching.